Right, guys. So I I got back into the Steam Deck. I uh, just want to see what it's gonna tell me for display. Uh, you got your display, the first one. Uh, like I told you, I'm using an Acer and a gaming monitor. One and two is the Acer and the Steam Deck. The third one is the AOC gaming monitor that I do use. I want to see if this is now uh, giving me the correct one. Right, Steam is always a problem. I'm, I'm going to try and cut this out. Okay, so there you go. It's actually giving me back the 4096 megabytes. So that's a four gigabytes on the um, uh, VRAM. That's dedicated video memory. AMD custom GPU 0405. Go to properties. Uh, go to driver. And well, <laughs> well, it, it didn't change much. It didn't change anything. It's just saying 27-02-2023. And I'm pretty sure this is the old driver that I had before. So it is this one, but it's, I don't think it's the correct driver. Um, if you ask me why, because this is from February and the one I'm trying to get is from March. So I do not think that it updated at all. I think what it's done is just gone back to the old driver, the driver that was there before. Uh, I know you're gonna ask me, how do I know that it's the same driver? Because I made a video about this. That one is the February driver uh, that had come out. And I do not think, so I need to get this um, thing to come into here, um, right. So I do not think this is the driver that I was trying to get installed. You see, it's not the, the driver that I wanted. Uh, I think, I think there would be a different way of getting this in. So that's the driver right there. Yes. The other way you can do this, I think is you go to display, um, go to your, uh, advanced display, uh, display adapter properties for display one, uh, go into your properties, go to your driver, go to update driver, go to browse your PC. And then select, uh, let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer and then click on hard drive. What this does is it opens up your PC. I don't know what this is saying, da, 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 unavailable, whatever. Right, so I don't know. I think it's, it's trying to select a driver that I had before. And I'm going to go to packages, drivers, display. If it lets me get into this one, and it should be this IMF. Uh, thingy and then click on ok then next and then you you wait for it to see if it's gonna actually go into your PC I mean into the Steam Deck you see so it's doing a few options uh, yeah so it's it's gonna take a while to do whatever it needs to do I see it actually says installing drivers and it says Windows encountered a problem installing the drivers for your device. Windows found drivers for your device but encountered an error while attempting to install them. AMD Custom GPU it says Windows has stopped this device because it has reported problems. Code 43. If you know the manufacturer of your device, you can visit their website and check the support section for your drivers. So you see it's, it's, it, it failed to update it. That's that's why I said I know I know when it's supposed to give me the correct driver and I know the old driver. So yes, I still have my four gigs of RAM uh video memory and then it's still saying twenty seven February twenty twenty three and the new driver is for twenty first March, which is zero three twenty one zero three twenty twenty three. So it's a month after this one. So this is the old driver. So what I'm deciding to do here is maybe I'll watch a few videos, find out how other people are trying to get this in. That's the driver that, that I needed. Because, uh, I mean, it just appears trying to install it this way using this method. Okay, the other way you can do it, guys, is you can just install the driver. So that's AMD software. I'm going to try my level best to get this down. Don't need that. Now, when it shows you all the stuff, if uh, for whatever reason the software doesn't work on Steam Deck, because sometimes it's actually the software. You see, it says additional options. Just click on that. 
Then where it says full install, just click on that and click on driver only. But I'm going to select minimal install and see if that makes a difference. So the minimal install will sometimes include a few uh, bits of the AMD software, but it may not give you everything. You know, like you might not be able to control uh, how the screen, you know, to change. It won't give you additional options. It might still give you the, the adrenaline software, but it may not give you, you know, everything that comes with it. So that's minimal install. So why, why am I trying to do this? Because I know the old driver and I know the new driver. And I know for certain that that's, that's the old driver. So like I've just shown you guys, just be careful when you're trying to install this because it will shut your Steam Deck down. It will actually um, crash your Steam Deck. It will make it appear as if your Steam Deck's not even working. So don't despair. What I'm saying is just remove your micro SD card. If that doesn't work, uh, just keep the micro SD card out and then basically just keep trying to restart your Steam Deck because the other option, which is the, well, I mean, it's not like it's dead. The other option would be to replace the SSD. Now by replacing the SSD, that means you lose all your programs, all your software that you had installed, especially if you've got Windows. If it's a Steam, if it's a Steam Deck operating system one, then you don't lose anything. Now, I know what you're gonna think. Well, you, you games and stuff, you don't lose anything. Because when you when you sign back into Steam, you that you get all your games back. You understand? So it's not like you're not gonna lose much. You see what it does, it just goes black. And even if I press on the buttons, nothing's happening. So that's why I know that the other driver trying to go in. Right. So it says please wait, yada yada. I'm I'm going to have to try my level best. Right, guys, I'm, I'm going to have to sign in. I'm using remote uh, Chrome desktop. I'm actually using my other. This is, a, this is a good thing about having different phones. So I'm using this one to sign in. Uh, this is my um, Oppo Reno, you see? So the, it's, it's, I'm going to have to sign in using this phone. I need the keyboard. Where's the keyboard? It's not showing me the keyboard. Scale to fit, resize to fit. Uh, I don't know. It's got all this other weird stuff on this. Sorry, guys. I'm just I'm just looking at all the stuff here. So it's what comes with the remote desktop. So I'm trying to get the keyboard to come up. Right. So for whatever reason, it's not giving me the keyboard. Right, so I'm I'm actually trying to connect to my uh, Steam Deck using the phone. You see the keyboard's up there, and if I click on keyboard, you see no keyboard comes out. So I think I need to... All right, so basically I had to press down there. There was a keyboard option. Right, so I may be able to sign in. Right, so he, as you can see, it's actually trying to sign. It's trying to go into the Steam Deck. And also here, you see, the second screen here, that's the AOC gaming monitor. I know it's black, but that's the actual gaming monitor. You see, look, that's the gaming monitor. And that's the Steam Deck and the Acer monitor. They connected. There's three displays here. I know it's only showing like two on the phone, but it's actually three. So I put this down. Look, you see that's blue. That's blue, right? And I'll show you the monitor quick. That's blue, right? Just trying to show you guys there's two monitors. And then the other one is like uh, a red or pink, I mean red color. And look at that, that's red. So that means there's two monitors connected to this. Right, I just need to get out of uh, Chrome Remote Desktop. Uh, you see it's actually saying it's still sharing it. And that's the Chrome Remote Desktop app there. If I click on it, you see it still shows that option and you see chrome you know, it does so i just need to close that and that's it uh you can actually log in using your um iphone or android phone right the only reason i did that guys is because i want to check at the moment i just want to check for the graphics driver i'm not concerned about steam 
I mean, I'll jump into Steam later. That's the gaming monster, A AOC. That's Acer Steam. I don't know why this keeps coming out. You know, it's so irritating, that thing. So, uh, right, uh, you don't select graphics. Advanced display. Uh, display thingy. Right, I've got a feeling that this did not uh, update. Yeah, I was right. You see, it didn't update. 2702-2023. It's still saying the old one. It's It won't... You see, so if I go to let me pick, and um, so it's it's it just it just won't let me install that driver that I want. That's the actual driver IMF, INF, and then you click on OK, and uh, nothing happens. That's weird. Right. So browse. Uh, click on that. INF that's the driver click on OK and nothing so it's it's not doing anything right I'm 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 going to that's saying four gigabytes so I'm going to continue trying to install the driver on my Steam Deck uh and trying to get this to work uh to update you know sometimes I think what if that is the actual driver I mean what what if for example what if that is the actual driver that I'm actually trying to install. Maybe it's already installed, but I'm the one who's not getting it. I'm just saying, is it possible? Cause I mean, this might just be, this might just be me trying to install something that's already installed. But um, I feel like, you know what? I feel like it's not the driver that I need. I feel like what the Steam Deck is doing is rejecting this driver. That's what I feel. I feel like it's rejecting the driver. It's just not. So I tried minimal. That didn't work. I'm gonna try try driver only. And click on install. What this will do is basically I won't get any of the uh, AMD Adrenaline uh, software. All I'll get is the driver update. So the reason why I'm doing this is because I've tried everything else and everything else has failed. Uh, I failed to install the the updated driver so i'm going for driver only so what this does um if it's successful and i go into the driver it should tell me that it's been updated you understand so it should be as easy as um i mean it it will restart the steam deck to do all that stuff and it should just tell me that yes the driver's been um you know like updated i should see a different date so you see i'm getting my phone ready so when when this thing does restart, I can just jump back into it, you see? So it's saying 100%. Um, the driver only is used like uh, if your computer is not compatible with the driver. So uh, a lot of people do this on the laptops. I mean, on a computer, I mean, it's it hardly happens on PC, but this would happen on a laptop. It can happen on laptops. So, for example, I've got the Acer, I mean, I've got the asus zenbook right there uh that one has intel iris graphics so i mean it's not doesn't have anything dedicated to it but it does have thunderbolt ports and it's got two of them it's got a usb uh the normal usb 2.0 i think it's a 3.0 uh, port on the other side of it so basically this one is it it can also be powered uh with the thunderbolt ports as well so it accepts power through uh, the Thunderbolt uh, 4 ports. It's I think it's either USB 4. Uh, some people call it USB 4, but I think it's Thunderbolt. Uh, and I think it's the 4, the Thunderbolt 4 one. So with mine, all I need to do is get an um, uh, eGPU, which is external graphics card, uh, with Thunderbolt 4 or USB 4, uh, the cable, and then just connect it to, the, uh, to my Asus ZenBook. And that's it. I've got a full gaming uh, laptop. Uh, the other option I had was uh, uh, there's a company uh, that makes a lot of um, it makes a lot of these uh, portable gaming uh, things, you know, you see, it's not even starting up again. Look at that. Nothing on the mouse. Now All right, right there things. we go. We've got signs of life right now. So just jumping into this one, going to show you how to do this. Why I'm using this? Because the on-screen uh, keyboard thing doesn't work properly. I'm going to go like that. It's going to start connecting. 
Uh, this is a uh, Chrome remote desktop and basically it's connecting to my Steam Deck. And as you can see, it's it's only going to show one screen because that one's dark. So all I got to do with this one is just... Uh, I need to use a keyboard. Right, so I'm just entering what I need to enter. And uh, yeah, it should... So there you go. The other section of it, that other part there is dark. It's only because it needs to enter. Once once it goes in, it will show up. It will show you that it's actually connected to a second monitor. There you go, you see? So that's the this side, this this the first side. The first one here, that's the Steam Deck and the Acer over there that's connected. And then this one is yeah. And then the other one, top one, is that one. So basically, I'm in there. Right, guys. Let's see if after all of that, it's it has finally updated. Like I said, it could be that it's it's already updating, or maybe it has already updated, or maybe I've been trying to update the same. Like maybe my driver was already updated. Maybe the March, you see. So I'm 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 just basically gonna give up now. I'm going to give up trying. You see, it's it's still the same driver. It's still the same thing. It's still the February 2023. You know, you know, you know what what I'm thinking now. I think the reason why I think the reason why it's it's not going to allow me to to like to update the um, uh you know, you know, you know what I'm thinking. Maybe it's not. It's just not going to give me the the one I want. Um. So that's that's what I've got. That's twenty seven to twenty twenty three, and I think that it's not going to actually allow me to get the the full AMD thing on it. Right. I just need to put that down. So as you can see, that says twenty. My God, what's happening? Oh, SDSX. That's what happens. It covers the entire screen. And almost makes you go a bit, you know. Anyway, so 27 to 2023, I think that it's not going to go past that. Uh, VRAM dedicated video memory is 4,096 megabytes. Uh, and obviously, so th that's how that is. Uh, it's okay. You know, you know, the thing is, I did want, you see, Dual, DualSense X not responding. This thing, I do not use this at all. I'm not saying that it's a bad thing to have. I just don't use it. I'll show you the one I use. I use this one. Uh, yeah. I use uh, this one. This is DS for Windows. I got DualShock, War Robots, Frontiers, War Robots, Xbox, and Default. And controllers. But basically, there is no controller connected. I'm just going to stop this program. And if I wanted to actually uh, overclock the Steam Deck on Windows, I use AMD Power Control Panel. And it will show up. I just want to show you how I overclock Steam Deck. Because people may think this is fake. It's not fake. There it is. Power control panel. AMD power control panel. 10, 10, 10, 10 watts. Whatever. That's the minimum. And I can actually set this to 35. And when it changes to 35 watts, it will actually show you. Uh, 400 uh, GPU. But, uh, okay. 400, 4, uh, 4 gigahertz on the CPU. And I'll actually show you, uh, I don't know if I can go into profiles. If I click on edit, it will actually show you everything. 35, 35, 35, that's the TDP. That's the power uh, output. And then this one is maximum uh, GPU clock frequency, 2,100. That's 2.1 gigahertz. And maximum frequency for the CPU is 4,000. That's 4 gigahertz. Ampere cores is 4. That's battery values. That's when it's not connected. And the docked values is the same. And that's the summary. And most I just click OK, save. And on the 10 watts, that one is the lowest. On battery, it's 10, 10, 10. And then 400 lowest and lowest uh, CPU, it can go to 1,100. And Ampere causes 2. And docked is the same thing. Now, why did I select this one? Because I wanted it to do at least under 10 watts and 35 watts, if possible, to overclock. I know what you're thinking. Can this go higher than... Yes. The maximum allowed TDP on this is 50. 
50 watts and the delay value i think this one so the gpu 2300 2.3 gigahertz but we know steam that can only do 1.6 and uh, so forth so forth so when it says status like this it's actually doing 35 so i lower it and basically it goes back down to 10 watts you see the other thing i do use is this program and it's gonna start up it takes a bit of time uh i don't know if it's gonna work right so this one okay so actually i have it open already so when this starts up i'll show you what it looks like so that's the utilization for ram temperature for cpu and the clock so at the moment i'm actually doing minimum but if i click on maximum you see it's going to go to maximum performance that's like ultimate performance and look what happens it actually went to 3.5 2 gigahertz 1.8 2 gigahertz again so when 70 degrees celsius it actually goes up and 13 it actually does less uh, ram utilization if i click on minimum look at the difference uh it says okay it's been changed now all of a sudden ram has been used more and then less temperature 50 seven degrees celsius and 1.3 gigahertz in terms of cpu value so this is actually doing uh slightly less uh it's quite big guys so i have to remove this from the screen i've actually got two running wow okay so basically i tried to get um i tried to get uh what you call this uh the driver installed well anyway i was trying to get the amd adrenaline software installed that didn't work out the way i wanted it to um yeah i want echo dot to be connected i don't know if this is right just want to reconnect uh this is now connected to geotrans if you're wondering what that is that's actually alexa in the background right i'm only going to use these uh items because i'm not using anything else um i'm moving everything to the other screen guys so if you're wondering where everything's going it's actually going to my um my gaming monitor like I said, uh, the gaming monitor is directly above me. Um, if you're wondering why, uh, that's for resolution right there, this one. Uh, what this does, it cuts the resolution uh, to half. Uh, as you know that Windows, I don't know if Windows got, uh, has FS, uh, FSR on it. I'm not sure if it's actually installed on Windows. They say it is there. I've, not, I've never seen uh, it. Uh, you know i've never seen it on on steam deck i'm um, just gonna get this on i'm gonna move this to the other screen um when i play games yes i i like to have these programs running uh it just makes it easier you know it's like i could just decide well i want to play games um on steam deck and obviously i don't want to start opening stuff up it's just a whole lot easier if i if this stuff is already running uh the md power control panel sometimes can be a bit um i mean sometimes it 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 will it will you know like you see it's trying to start up twice i don't want it twice sometimes it'll actually load like this and then it will just uh crash if it crashes it's not a problem uh i would suggest that you you don't panic don't panic about it don't be like oh man it's it's not working it's not the case it's it's just you know if if it's not working for whatever reason then it's it's you know it's not working but but i'm saying what, what i'm saying basically is just uh keep clicking on it that's the exe file i don't know why this is coming here i need this go to go to the other mo menu uh sorry i'm saying menu i'm saying screen uh that's edge guys if you're wondering what that was that's edge um it's the browser edge I use this one, the edge on the other screen, and basically, I don't know what this is. It says new browser, blah, 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 new version updated. Uh, okay. No, it's, it's just telling me some stuff about the browser stuff. Right. Let me just mute this because it's going to start making noise now. Right, guys. So basically, I think I already had the driver, but I was trying to install AMD Adrenaline software. Like I said, create a restore point. Be careful because it did shut down my Steam Deck twice and it actually crashed once. Uh, so be careful when you're trying to install the software. Right. Thank you for watching, guys.